Hi, and welcome to the room that I affectionately refer to as the Oval Office. And the reason we call it the Oval Office is because, well, it's in the shape of an oval. And this is pretty much where the nerve center of SNDJ Entertainment is located. And this is the room that I spend countless hours planning wedding receptions, uh, getting music together, and uh, talking to brides, and making sure that your every need is met when it comes to your wedding reception. For instance, uh, right now I've been working on a reception for, uh, for a wedding I've got coming up in a couple of weeks. And uh, I've met with the bride and groom, and they've sent me their information. And I'm in the process of typing everything up on a nice planner for them. And we like to do that because we don't want to wait till the very last minute to get things done. This way we can go ahead and you know type up the planner and I can send it to them and the bride can look it over and then she can send it back to me if we need to make any changes. We've got plenty of time to do that. We always want to make sure that we're very organized and that we plan these things out. In this particular video though, I want to talk about some common myths and some common truths about professional mobile DJs. Now this exact same information is in the wedding information packet and if you've not received a copy of the wedding information packet, please drop us an email and we will make sure that you receive a copy as soon as possible. Now, the average person doesn't really deal with professional mobile DJs on a regular basis, so what they really think when they think of DJs is maybe they think about the person that they saw at their local skating rink, or maybe the person they saw playing music at their local nightclub. While those are definitely DJs, they're not the professional DJs that you want at your wedding reception, and that's what really sets professional mobile DJs apart from the club DJ, the skating rink DJ, and other DJs who uh, go out and do it more as a hobby instead of a business. And we're going to talk about some myths and some common truths about mobile DJs and uh, how to determine if a mobile DJ is professional or not. Professional mobile DJs do a lot more than just handle music. When you hire us for your wedding or your reception, we help you plan out the sequence of events, we serve as your entertainment planners, and we also serve as your MC for the evening. And not only that, we're also responsible for making sure that everybody has a good time and we lead the party to make sure that you are put in the spotlight and that everybody has fun. That's our responsibility. So really to say that DJs just handle music is really an understatement and really just to say we're just a DJ service is really an understatement as well. When you really think about it, we're more like professional entertainment planners as well. While it is true that most professional mobile DJs may only perform one or two days a week, that doesn't mean that we only work one or two days a week. Let me give you a good example of that. Saying a professional mobile DJ only works one or two days a week would be almost like saying that your local pastor only works two days a week, Sunday and Wednesday, or maybe a football player only works every Sunday during football season. Well, obviously, your pastor does a lot more than just preach on Sunday and on Wednesday. He's probably got other obligations where he's working in his office or meeting with people or maybe conducting funeral services. I mean, there's a lot that goes on besides what you see up there on the pulpit. And, of course, we all know that professional football players, well, they do a lot more than just play football every Sunday. They're usually in training. They're usually watching videos. And they're usually getting a lot of other things done, especially in the off season. The same goes for professional mobile DJs. Now me, for example, I usually spend a lot of my time right here in the Oval Office uh, planning wedding receptions and uh, you know, typing up summaries for brides and grooms after the wedding. And when I'm not doing that, I'm usually meeting with clients or sometimes we're even off at seminars like I go to Las Vegas every year to a mobile DJ convention and I'm always constantly looking at ways to improve the DJ service. And uh, usually that's what I, I, I spend the rest of my time doing. So when you see us performing at your wedding reception, just realize that is the finished product after many, many hours of planning have gone into that. And that's not all we do. We spend a lot more time in the office and meeting with clients and going to seminars and doing everything we can to make our mobile DJ business the best that it can be. No, your DJ won't be talking on the microphone and uh, making the whole event about him. While it is true that we do have great MC skills, what we like to do is we like to use our professional MC skills to put you in the spotlight. That's what it's all about. And we only use the microphone to make important announcements or things relevant to the reception.
It takes a certain type of person to become a professional mobile DJ, just like any other profession. You know, it takes a certain type of person to become a funeral director, a police officer, firefighter, and other professions. And really, being a professional mobile DJ is uh, no different than that. Because uh, in order to become a professional mobile DJ and do the job right, you have to go through countless hours of training. And uh, you have to know how to, how to interact with crowds. I mean, it's a lot more than just going and setting up and playing music, which is what a lot of people think. You have to have a certain type of personality to be able to make sure that everybody has a good time and to really be able to lead a crowd and also be a good planner, to plan out the sequence of events and be a good business person as well. So there's really a lot more that goes into it than what people think uh, when they think about professional mobile DJs. The truth of the matter is, anybody can go out and buy professional mobile DJ equipment and claim to be a professional mobile DJ. But as I said earlier, it takes a certain type of person to become a professional mobile DJ. And uh, really, for somebody to go out and buy professional mobile DJ equipment and say that they're a professional DJ without any training or anything like that would be almost like uh, somebody going down to a local medical store and buying a stethoscope and a scrub suit and saying that they're a doctor. You know, just because they have a scrub suit and a stethoscope doesn't make them trained to be a doctor. Well, the same thing with being a professional mobile DJ. They can have all the best equipment in the world, but if they don't have the personality or they're not the right type of person or have the adequate training to be a professional mobile DJ, then they really can't be considered a professional mobile DJ. All DJs don't do the same thing. And really, a lot of DJs will price themselves a lot cheaper just to get work. But a lot of times, these are teenagers that are just getting into the profession and they really don't have a whole lot of experience and they're pricing themselves cheaper just to get business. And really, you don't want to go that route. You don't want to hire the cheapest DJ that you can find because you will end up regretting the decision that you made. And uh, that's uh, been a story that I've heard many times over and over and over again. I've talked to brides before who have uh, gone on the internet and they've hired the cheapest DJ that they could find because they really weren't sure how to hire a professional mobile DJ and they weren't really sure what they were looking for. And that's why we've developed our wedding information packet which talks about how to hire a professional mobile DJ and uh, things to look for. But that's the one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to hire the cheapest DJ that you can find because chances are you probably will be disappointed if you do that. Well, thank you very much for watching. I certainly do appreciate uh, the fact that you've taken time to watch this video, and I hope that I've been able to clear up some things uh, about the common myths about professional mobile DJs and revealing some of the truths so that you don't end up regretting the decisions that you made. Now, if you have any questions or if you'd like to talk to me about professional mobile DJs or possibly talk about having SNDG Entertainment host your wedding reception, just please feel free to drop me an email anytime or give me a call, and I will return your phone call and we can definitely talk about that, and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have.